In the Institute of Medical Biology, we have three research focus areas, stem cells, genetic diseases, and skin biology. And these are three areas that work very well together. They're very synergistic. I mean, the great thing about being here in IMB is that it's part of the Biopolis, which in turn is now part of a larger biomedical research focus here in Singapore. By being in the Biopolis, uh, we're surrounded by uh, significant uh, institutes of significant size that we can uh, interact with as they're pursuing research in many other different disciplines. Being able to have access to experts, uh, the world's experts, in, in, who have deep knowledge in all these different domains, uh, I think has really facilitated my own thinking and investigation as well. What brought me to IMB is uh, um, actually colleagues and that I've been knowing for many years, uh, and uh, also the fact that I've been in Singapore several times. I was witnessing firsthand what was going on in Singapore, and I wanted to be part of it. There's two major attractions for me at the Institute of Medical Biology. One was the excellent research um, activity that's going on here, and then secondarily, uh, and maybe the major factor for me was the, the level of infrastructure that was available here, uh, particularly as a microscopist in terms of the microscopy equipment that was on site to do the research. Singapore is one of the few places worldwide that's uh, investing in skin research, actively investing in skin research. So in most governments are not particularly interested in uh, skin. In reality, uh, many people have skin disease. So there's actually very, very good reasons to take skin very, very seriously. And it so happens that Singapore is doing that and has made significant investments in uh, skin research. Stem cells is an area where we started off doing a lot of work on embryonic stem cells when the Institute started. And this has morphed into looking much more on adult tissue stem cells, which is where we are today. My lab is working mainly on stem cells and peculiar stem cells, the ones which are sitting in the skin or in related uh, epithelia. My own research group works on the cytoskeleton of keratinocytes, the epithelial cells of skin. This arose from earlier studies on looking at mutations in a very rare genetic skin fragility condition. But it's led us on to understand and study more about stress and the way skin cells respond to stress. And this has led us on to an understanding of wound healing. We are also working on um, a regulatory switch that controls uh, context-specific expression of two alternate gene products. This switch is critical for wound healing. Our objective here is to develop a new therapeutic strategy to treat chronic non-healing wounds. I think science should be done in, in a very collaborative manner and I'm, I'm very glad to say that you know in IMB I've had the opportunity to really uh, collaborate uh, widely and deeply with, with different people. I have gotten into a collaboration with uh, Professor Maurice van Steensel, who is a dermatologist as well as a geneticist. And you know he brings to the table his perspectives on rare genetic diseases, uh, specifically those related to acne. And I bring to the table my own insights uh, and tools regarding uh, stem cell fate decisions. But meanwhile, Sudong and I have uh, entered into collaboration with a very large company here and now share a lab. Now there's a considerable investment there from both industry and from ASTAR. And uh, with this group, we are going all full steam ahead and trying to find out why people get, get acne. And that's pulling out all the stops. In one of the projects, we are working on um, glioblastoma multiforme, which is one of the most aggressive forms of uh, brain tumor. We have identified a novel small non-coding RNA, which we refer to as a microRNA. And this microRNA is apparently expressed in the so-called tumor-initiating stem cell population from the tumor cells. Collaboration is, is, is quite important in, in science today because nobody can do everything by himself or herself. So you have to be able to uh, tape in the brain of your colleagues. Uh, and also uh, get uh, some input from, from them. And I have uh, good collaboration and setting up collaborations right now at IMB with a number of colleagues. Being able to collaborate with uh, colleagues has been a very important aspect of being here at the IMB. It's allowed us to interact with a whole range of other researchers. The most important tool here, if you could call it like that, is actually the people that are here. 
right? And plus there's the infrastructure which provides you with all the equipment that you need and then some. I think we have a great team of imaginative and creative people here in the Institute and we're looking forward to a future where we're all going to help each other and work together to get our science out, to do practical science, to make it into something that will make an impact, not just for Singapore but also worldwide.